Today we're going to be using Ironspeed version 8.01 to show you how to use the formulas in the data access layer. Here I have a typical application with a few tables and we're going to get straight in there and edit the information. So I'm just going to show you a very simple uh, show customer table page and because we're in live preview you'll see this straight on the screen without bringing up the browser. What I can do is I can go and edit a record. I can type in let's say London as a city, save that information and as you see there London uh, has been put into the city no problems. What I can do now and what I want to show you is how we might modify that at the data access layer level to show you customizations uh, using formulas. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of enforce some uppercase onto that information and do some validation. We're not going to do it at the presentation layer, as I say we're going to do it at the data access layer. So where do I start? Very simply go to our databases tab on the left and we're going to bring up some information regarding the city for the customer table. What I want to do is enforce whenever I add or update the uh, city field for a customer uh, to force that, as I say, to uppercase. So on the left hand side I've got some fields here and I can select them on or off um, and I want to put these two on for inserting and updating so that when the uh, record is updated or inserted I want to force the city field to be uppercased. So in my formula tab if I right click I can very simply say functions string uh, upper and it's asking me what do I want to uppercase okay DB record city there we go so this formula says uppercase the field called city very simply if I can now copy and paste that into inserting I'll have achieved the same thing without much more typing let's now compile that and see if it runs Okay, so that's finished. Let's go and check our page in Internet Explorer. Okay, that's just coming up. And when that does, we're going to go in and edit the record. And this time we should find that. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got London. Let's change that now to Washington. And it should, when I click the Save button, save that information, but uppercase it. Okay, and we can verify that by looking at the view. We've got a uppercase city. Okay, so that was very simple for the um, information that you want to change when saving or updating. What we also want to do is put some validation on. So in the validation uh, down here on the left hand side again, when I'm updating a record, I want to be able to check that, for example, the city isn't set to London. Okay, so how would I do that? Again, I can right click and I can go look at my functions. And you've got logical functions. So I'm going to use an if. Okay, and it's very kindly set up some uh, template for me. So if this condition is true, um, do the true bit, else do the false bit. So my condition will be I want to check the value. Again, I can use right click, city. Now, if the uppercase value of city is equal to London, okay. I want to execute the true bit and that true bit is going to be an error which will say something like uh, record cannot be London for example and if it's false just put in an empty quote. Now if I compile that again and run go back to my uh, when that's finished go back to my IE there it is. So this time, if I ever I try to sort of type in uh, London into the city field, I expect that formula to kick in and validate in the data layer. So let's go and edit that record again. Uh, I'm going to put in New York just to s make sure that everything works as we expect. Don't forget it should uh, uppercase New York for me. And there it is. I'm going to edit that record again and this time I'm going to put in London save a record cannot be London 
Okay, so now that validation has kicked in, I'm not able to use London as the city. Of course, these are just samples. You can use whatever uh, validation you wish. But uh, what I wanted to show you there was a very simple and quick way uh, where to find it, where to use it, how to use it of validating and changing uh, the initialization when inserting and updating records. I hope you found that very useful. There is more information on the Ironspeed website regarding formulas. Please do check that out.